How's it going everybody? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, and in today's video, I will be bringing you guys another Black Ops 2 video, but what's going to be going on that's going to be a little bit different in this video, this is going to be a dad duel commentary, of course, titled Father Sunday, of course, going to be uploaded on Sunday, so dad, introduce yourself. Hey, what is up, warriors? It's the Quad Father here, and I want to ask you, are you sick of summer yet? Indeed, no, no, not well, absolutely. Well, we'll get not. into it. We'll, we'll get the into weather. It. The weather, I am a little bit. I'd like it to be winter weather, but having summertime off, you know, that'd be cool. And uh, adults are dumb. I've been watching TV, and adults are stupid with tech. All right, sounds good. You're not, I man. You're an adult, but yeah, yeah go on. And ha and also, how to beat up the bully. Okay, uh, I'm here. I'm listening. I'm right. right here. Okay, so you're okay. So you're not tired of summer yet? Nah, eh, no. I like I, sleeping in. I when I was a kid, I remember I would get tired of summer towards the end, and I was ready for school because I wanted to hang out with my friends. But mm -mm. I don't know if has technology changed that. Well, yeah, kind of, because I can talk to basically any of my friends whenever I really want. And I have some friends that I see practically every day at football, play Call of Duty with, just really hang out with. I see most of my friends whenever I want, unless they're on a, a vacation trip or something like that. See, I would only have me and my hand and, you know, anybody who lived in my <laughs> yeah, neighborhood, yeah. you know, to, to be my friend. Mm -hmm. You know, but now I guess with all this technology, you guys just are always connected. So maybe summer should never end. That's I, I, I'm all for it. I, my hand is raised in the air. The eternal summer. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so that was just a small one. But this, uh, first of all, have you watched, any, heard anything about the Trayvon Martin trial? I have. I've watched a few, uh, just, just occasional few videos on it, but yeah. Okay. Did you see the whole thing with the Skype? Where they interviewed oh, the oh, guy? Yeah, yeah. I, someone witness? linked it to me in my uh, Skype clan chat, and I watched it. Oh, my it, gosh. It w okay, in the beginning, it was like they would call in every 15 seconds. It was just one guy calling in. Well, set it I, up. Set it up first. Yeah, what was... Well, you set it up. I don't... You, okay. You've read about this All right. more they recently. Were, yeah, they were, they were... Basically, they were interviewing a guy in Colorado who couldn't make it out. And so he, he was testifying. So they said, hey, why don't we just have him do his testimony on Skype, you know, using modern technology? wonderful use for this this technology although we know it's flawed so other than starting out echoey and cut out, cutting out and everything well what the foolish adults did in this situation of course the television the trial is being televised so what they did was they left up the guy's contact information so you knew his skype name and they also left up all his contacts so it wasn't but maybe three or four minutes into his testimony that all of a sudden everybody who was watching the tv just started skyping this guy and he just kept in these bloop bloop Bloop, mm -hmm. bloop, over bloop, and over bloop. and over. Oh my gosh. And they did not know if all, all they had to do was make it full screen or turn off the notifications or anything like that. And they could have solved it. But the judge is like, uh, I'm tired of this. Uh, why, why don't you just hang up? It's yeah, like, exactly. well, it's not a hang up, but yeah, okay, yeah. it's off. <laughs> It's yeah. like she had no idea what was going on. Yeah. And neither did anybody. So it made me wonder, you know, are adults really that stupid with technology? You can't just, just, just come on, man. Just, just, it's really not that hard. It really isn't. Just, no. just I mean, people always trying to like, mom does this occasionally or your parents do this occasionally uh -huh. and they'll just, they won't want to update, you know? Right. You know what? I, and I run into people all the time. No, I don't really have a smartphone or I don't really do my email or I don't know what Twitter is. And I'm like, you know what? Are you going to die in the next five years? Because this stuff ain't going anywhere. This is the future. Why are you not learning it? I don't exactly. understand. You know, I guess I'm kind of one of more of those early adopters, more like the... Definitely. Yeah, I always have the newest phone, and I'm checking out, you know, the latest tablet, and I'm checking out the new operating systems and things like that. So I guess I'm kind of unique in that way, considering these people couldn't even get Skype to work. Exactly. They couldn't keep people's privacy. So so anyway, now, it, now today I was at work, I was actually giving some advice on how to handle bullies. Mm -hmm. and, and it gave me an idea for the, for, the, for the topic that we have for today, and that was, you know, the way that I always beat bullies, I didn't, you know, fight them or my goal was to stay out of fights man because you know mm -hmm. even if you win a fight you hurt your hands yeah you, <laughs> you know see the, you should see the other guy but yeah, yeah it, it doesn't matter way. you still yeah yeah you, you still get injured and no one right. really wants an injury no so when when like when people would say hey d hey dude your mom's a whore to me yeah. when i was a kid mm -hmm. my response was well did you get the special deal because she has a special deal on saturday it's a two for one yeah you, yeah. you know so it was just stupid <laughs> stuff i just wouldn't give them control and i thought you know what not everybody can do that I said, but if people are prepared, then they can really, you know, defend the bullies. They can mm -hmm. actually beat the bullies. So I looked up the uh, top ten insults. Okay. And I, I thought this. we'd evaluate them. See if see if we think they're any good. I'm all for it. All right. So number ten. Ready? Yep. All okay. Right. Do you have to leave so soon? I was just about to poison the tea. 
That that freaking sucks. That's stupid. That I just mean, sucks, dude. No. I just I just say get out, nerd. Yeah, why would why, <laughs> just leave me alone? <laughs> why would you? Even, why? How's that an insult, really? I mean, I'm I'm about to kill you anyway. Yeah. All right, number nine. Your family tree is a cactus because everyone on it is a prick. Dumb. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, that's like the joke I tell. You know, the difference between a porcupine and a Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the pricks on the outside with the porcupine. Yeah. Okay. All right. A <laughs> simple, simple, straightforward one. Number mm-hmm. eight. Uh, dumbass. Okay. All right. I, that has its merits. It's simple. It's 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 to the point. Yep. All right. How about this one? Number seven. If you were twice as smart, you'd still be stupid. That's good, but it's not too good. But no. And if someone, because if someone's really dumb, they're not going to get it. Yeah. So how about this? Number six. You're so ugly that your mama dropped you off when you're nah, screwed it up. When your mama dropped you off at school, she got a fine for littering. That's dumb. Okay. That, that, I, I wouldn't. Just be, you're <laughs> no, a nerd. Wait, 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 yeah. It's too long, first of all. Yeah. All right, number five. You're so ugly. Hello Kitty said goodbye to you. That's dumb. All right. We're striking out here. All right, number four. Um, it looks like your face caught on fire and someone tried to put it out with a fork. Heard that too many times again. Dumb. Yeah, not original. <laughs> These right, people suck. Three. Oh, man. How are we going to insult bullies if we don't have any good ones? All right, number three. You must have been born on a highway because that's where most accidents happen. Dumb. <laughs> these all, right. like so much these, for creative these, insults. You gotta come on, man. Yeah, just call him a nerd. You're all a right. nerd, even though I'm a big nerd. I'm a very big nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's a nerd in their own way. Yeah. All right, number two, shut up. You'll never be the man your mom is. <laughs> okay. I, I got gotcha. you. Hey, one, yeah. number two. It's <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's that actually, a very good one. All right. right. Unless they have two moms, because now apparently. Uh, dude, I, I've, I've medicated with two moms. Yeah, I just wonder about the biology of that. Yeah. How okay. did that all actually happen? I've done yeah. taking the birds and the bees. All right. Number one. <laughs> number one. Do you have a drum roll or anything like that? Uh, it's all right. Timpani? No? No. Nope. All right. Ba, ba, da, ba. Number one. Your birth certificate is an apology from the condom factory. I'll take it. That, that, that's, I've heard that one, but that's not bad at all. I, I like the the mom. Man yeah, shut one. up. You'll never be either mom, your man. Yeah, the man your mom say it. was. Yeah, <laughs> it was good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I hope you really enjoyed all those insults. Make sure to click like down below. If we could go for 175 likes, that'd be really cool. It's been Quadum FT, and I'll see you next time. And I'll see you if I don't what insult your mother.